I could not find a word to describe the pain, uh, uh, the sword that we have as a Palestinian and especially the people in Jenin and Jenin camp. I'm sitting in the middle of my office uh, and Mustafa's office. Everything is destroyed uh, and you see all this mess and I don't know why. It's because it, this is theater. It's not a military base. It's not a, a terrorist house. It's not a, a, an armed place or there is no guns. There is books, pictures, cameras, a, a music a, an instruments. All of it being destroyed, the whole theater being uh, like all computers, all offices being destroyed, and they've been rotting uh, and writing and drawing uh, Hebrew things uh, uh, all uh, around. And for me, I am wondering how long this is going to happen again and again in the same way, and still the whole world looking and they cannot do anything. For us, we as a Palestinian, we are too bored of this of this life. That we are too bored of this legacy of the world that they're promising humanity, promising democracy. This is, this is, I cannot go on again. The, the, I mean, we as the Palestinians, now we arrived to the point that we cannot wait for another promise. We have to do something. The Israeli soldiers believe we are not a human being. being. That's why they're killing us in very easy way. That's why they destroy, destroy theaters and cultural places, because also they believe no one in this world can ask them to stop. No one ask, No one can tell them, you can't do this. They believe, as an Israeli, they can do whatever they want, and no one in this world can tell them what you are doing.